Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll solve this interesting question that I gave you as homework in the previous question. So if you haven't already watched the previous videos, right, you can go back and watch those previous videos. There also we have solved few interesting questions uh, which was related to RC and previous to that there was OPAMP as well. So you can go and watch those videos and then come back to this video. We are solving interesting questions mainly related to analog electronics. So let's first start with this question. So I gave you this question. We have to plot the voltage waveform VO for the below circuit. So a diode is given and a capacitor and a current source is also given, right? And this input is a voltage source. So what will happen basically here? So one thing we can observe that input, right, is a triangular waveform. Uh, everything has been mentioned, but the C value has not been mentioned. So we have to have a starting point. So what will happen basically in this circuit? So one thing we observe is if I try to plot this, right? T less than zero, what will happen? Initially, uh, the capacitor, although it doesn't have any charge, but this current source was always there, right? This is not a U of T simply. This is not a simple U of T. This is a 0.5 milliamp of current source. So before even T less than zero, right? Before T less than zero, what will happen? A current source is directly connected across the capacitor. And before this, right, there was no voltage. So the, let's assume this voltage as zero volts. And if this current source was present, right? Then what will happen is that this current source, this current will flow through this capacitor like this and this capacitor will get charged, more positive charges will be accumulated. So the potential of this VO, right, will go higher and higher. So uh, like what I can say for any value of C, right, for any value of C, basically we don't care. Why we wouldn't care? Because voltage across the cathode of this diode right will always be higher than the anode because this will go very higher than the one volt because uh, like we don't know until when this circuit was kept in place but uh, what we know is this was kept in place for infinite amount of time so the voltage the cathode cathode voltage voltage will be very high okay hence d will never be on d will be always off so if diode is off, that means what? If my diode is off, right? So the output voltage waveform will look like what? Simply, it will be a simple. Just hold on. Okay, this is this three tap thing is not working. This will be simply a simple ramp function. Now I don't know, like from t equals to zero, it won't be obviously. 0 right it will be something like this this is exactly not like this this will be a straight line okay this will be a straight line so it will be a ramp function our vo will be a ramp function now the interesting fact for this question is if i change this to something else okay if i change this question to something else now what i will do i will change this basically what i will do is instead of it being a 0.5 milliamp of current source right i will change this to 0.5 milliamps u of t okay i will also multiply a u of t as well now if i multiply a u of t with it tell me in the comments below what will happen okay now things will be different now things will depend on the value of c as well right the auto voltage waveform will depend on the value of c uh, roughly here the slope will be what can you tell me the slope of this the slope why will this linearly charge I already have explained this concept multiple times in my uh, like uh, this uh, basically in my videos in my channel in the other channel perfusion as well still i will explain it explain it once more so if i have a simple c and a current source like this right this current source is uh, 2 milliamps and this is simple c what was the current source 2.5 milliamps okay 0.5 milliamps and this is c so the fundamental equation of capacitor is what c dvc by dt c dvc by dt equals to what ic c dvc by dt equals to ic so if my c dvc by dt is equals to ic what does that means that means that uh, as ic is constant so vc will be a simple ram function it will be ic by c into t so apologies for my handwriting so currently i'm at some other place so i have to somehow make deal with this all these things right so i am like just on the setup thing so that's why the handwriting is bad so yeah apologies for that so uh, this right i will be ic by c into t and the slope will be what this will be my slope 
this thing will be basically my slope okay so this will be the slope of this ic by c ic is 0.5 milliampere and whatever value of c uh, that you choose that will be the slope of this so that will happen for this particular circuit but what you have to identify is that for a current source like this 0.5 milliampere and assume that v in is zero v in is equals to zero v in is equals to zero for t less than zero then how will my output voltage waveform look okay now that one you have to identify how will my output voltage waveform look now here right one hint i will give is that you will have two cases depending upon a threshold value of c you will get two cases okay one waveform will be i am not saying one waveform will be just similar what we have uh, like proven here another waveform will be a bit different so that you have to uh, like solve and tell me uh, in the comments below so yeah that's it basically for from my side for this particular question we'll for solve this question like follow up of this question in the next uh, video also currently we have just uh, completed 10k subs on our other channel that is press fusion gate so if you want to prepare with us right for placements or gate or for both you can prepare with us currently a huge discount is running on our all our courses uh, due to the occasion of uh, navrati and all as well we have hit 10k subscribers due to the occasion of that first 10 students who want to enroll in the full course will get huge discount up to 50 percent off so if you use the code fusion 50 you will get 50 percent off on all our full courses so yeah that's a quick public service announcement for you guys so that's it like uh, if you want to know about the quality you can watch this video you can watch all the other videos on our perfusion channel there we have like sh shown enough video for uh, like for you to check out the quality of the content so yeah that's it from my end and i will see you in the next video until then happy learning